Hi everyone! Before showing you the video I made exposing John Hagee, I just wanted to, to tell you that this video has been false flagged by John Hagee Ministry and I am showing you the, the, the proof here right now. Well, all I have to say is that John Hagee and his ministry must have something to hide for them to take this video down. Why don't they want me to, to show um, what John Hagee has said, what John Hagee wrote in his book? I just showed everything that he himself spoke and he himself wrote. So what, what do they have to hide to take this video down, to false flag it? But they will not be able to stop the truth from being preached. The word of God will be spread all around the world and the wolves in sheep clothing will be exposed for who they are for the glory of God Almighty. In this video, I will prove to you that John Hagee is filled with the Antichrist spirit and leading thousands of people astray. By his own words, written and spoken, John Hagee has denied Yeshua Jesus Christ as Messiah. In his book, In Defense of Israel, John Hagee has written that Jesus did not come on this earth to be the Messiah. By doing this, John Hagee has become a Judas and has sold his soul to Satan. I'm delighted to present my latest book, In Defense of Israel. This book will expose the sins of the fathers and the vicious abuse of the Jewish people. In Defense of Israel will shape Christian theology. It scripturally proves that the Jewish people as a whole did not reject Jesus as Messiah. It will also prove that Jesus did not come to earth to be the Messiah. It will prove that there was a Calvary conspiracy between Rome, the high priest and Herod to execute Jesus as an insurrectionist too dangerous to live. Since Jesus refused by word and deed to claim to be the Messiah, how can the Jews be blamed for rejecting what was never offered? Read it in this shocking expose in defense of Israel. It will also prove that Jesus did not come to earth to be the Messiah. Since Jesus refused by word and deed to claim to be the Messiah, In this book, In Defense of Israel, that John Hagee was so proud to present to everyone, I will show you some excerpts and you will see that John Hagee was really meaning it when he was denying Yahushua Jesus Christ as the Messiah. Just in case some of you might think that it could have been a mistake, but it was not a mistake. For John Hagee did not deny Yahushua once or twice, but seven times on seven different pages in his book. These are the words of John Hagee in his book In Defense of Israel and I am not in agreement with these words in the name of Yahushua HaMashiach. Page 137 If God intended for Jesus to be the Messiah of Israel, why didn't he authorize Jesus to use supernatural signs to prove he was God's Messiah just as Moses had done? Page 138, Jesus refused to produce his sign because it was not the Father's will, nor he is to be the Messiah. Page 139, if Jesus wanted to be Messiah, why did he repeatedly tell his disciples and followers to tell no one about his supernatural accomplishments? Page 140, the Jews were not rejecting Jesus as Messiah, it was Jesus who was refusing to be the Messiah to the Jews. Page 141. They wanted him to be their Messiah, but he flatly refused. Page 143. He refused to be their Messiah, choosing instead to be the Savior of the world. Page 145. Jesus rejected to the last detail the role of Messiah in word or deed. Now let's go back to page 140. John Hagee wrote that Jesus refused to be the Messiah to the Jews. This is totally unscriptural because Yahushua did claim to be the Messiah. In John chapter 4 verse 25 to 26, the woman said to him, 
I know that Messiah is coming, the one who is called Christ. When he comes, he will tell us all things. Yeshua, Jesus said to her, I that speak to you am he. And in Matthew chapter 16, verse 16 to 17. And Simon Peter said, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. And Yahushua, Jesus answered and said to him, Blessed are you, Simon Barjuna, for flesh and blood has not revealed it unto you, but my Father which is in heaven. And you can also read all the scriptures to prove that Yahushua is the Messiah. After publishing his book in defense of Israel, John Hagee received so many bad critics that he had to make some clarifications and even a revised edition of his book. But it did not change much and he still continued to deny Yahushua as the Messiah. Now let's go back some years ago. In Houston Chronicle dated 30th April 1988, John Hagee shocking words were as follows. I'm not trying to convert the Jewish people to Christian faith. In fact, trying to convert Jew is a waste of time. Everyone else, whether Buddhist or Baha'i, needs to believe in Jesus, but not Jews. Jews already have a covenant with God that has never been replaced by Christianity. By these words, we understand that John Hagee is saying that Jesus did not come to be the Messiah for the Jews, but only for the others, the non-Jews. And if we go back to his book in defense of Israel, page 143, John Hagee wrote that Jesus refused to be the Messiah for the Jews, but chose instead to be the savior of the world. Here is the deception of John Hagee. To the Jews, he says, Jesus is not the Messiah. To the Christians, he says, Jesus is the Messiah. Thus soothing the ears of everyone and having many followers. And when confronted with these two opposite statements, his reply is, Jesus did come to be the Messiah, but for the world, not for the Jews, because the Jews already have a covenant with God. Quite confusing, huh? In other words, John Hagee is saying that there is another way for salvation, another way to salvation, and that Yahushua, Jesus Christ, is not the only way. But it is clearly written in the Bible that none is righteous before God. Both Jews and Gentiles are under sin. All have sinned and come short of the glory of God. It doesn't matter if we are a Jew or a Gentile. We all need Yahushua to be our Messiah and Savior. And only the holy shed blood of Yahushua can wash our sins away and make us righteous before God. No man can come to the Father but only in the name of Yahushua the Messiah. And no one who denies the Son has the Father. But anyone who confesses the Son has the Father. Therefore no one can deny Yahushua and claim to be of God. This is the Antichrist spirit which John Hagee is filled of. This false doctrine preached by John Hagee is totally against the word of God. Yahushua came to this earth, born from a Jewish woman, raised by a Jewish father, and not even the evil chief priest could remove the title and cross of Yahushua, the king of the Jews. John Hagee is lying to the Jews, he is lying to the Christians. He pretends to love Israel, but he has no love for the Jewish people, because he is turning their hearts away from Yahushua, who is the Messiah, and who is the only way to salvation. And by using his seducing words, he is leading them astray. Many Jews will die in their sins and go to hell for believing the lies of John Hagee that Yahushua was not the Messiah and that they don't need Yahushua to be saved. Now for those of you who call yourself a Christian and still you defend John Hagee, this is serious. It's your soul at stake. For if you are in agreement with John Hagee, you are in agreement with the Antichrist spirit. Because the spirit which is in the pastor is the spirit which is in the church. There is still time for you to repent and to leave the church of John Hagee and to warn others because you are now held accountable 
for what you know about John Hagee.